In this video, I'm going to go over the information and assignments found in Unit 3. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Unit 3 here. Of course, we have the, the large view of um, each of the weeks in Unit 3 and the assignments beneath the due date. And then uh, the Create folder. Um, anything doing with the project, of course, will be found in the Create folder. Project 3 will be doing a marker rendering of either a house or building using, of course, markers. And you can do some detail with colored pencil. Uh, here's the timeline for Project 3. Next, we have the, the practice uh, folder with the sketch exercises uh, found. So you can see we're doing a still life, exercise 13 and 27, and then um, a couple practice exercises dealing with markers. All right, and the uh, sketch exercises are due uh, March 22nd, which is the end of the unit three. All right, let's go into uh, March 8th. So we have the LinkedIn learning dealing with perspectives. So I think that'll be very helpful uh, with working on the project. And then we are reading chapter eight in our online text, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. I hope you're enjoying uh, reading that, that book. I've always enjoyed it. And then a LinkedIn Learning Padlet. I'm just asking for two comments in regard to the LinkedIn Learning, um, dealing with perspective, two-point perspective. Uh, project three is uh, a two-point perspective, meaning that you will see two sides of your house or a building. You can upload your certificate right here in the assignment link and then some feedback on draw, drawing on the right side of the brain chapter 8 and then in regard to the project you're turning in thumbnails 5 to 8 um, for the building or house uh, marker rendering project 3 of course then uh, I would recommend that um, on Wednesday that maybe you would take a look to critique your fellow students work um, if you go to do this too soon, meaning Tuesday night, there probably will not be a lot of, uh, there, you know, there could be some people that are going to be working on their thumbnails almost up until the 11.59. So you may want to wait until Wednesday to critique everyone's um, thumbnails. All right, so that was the first week. Then March 15th. Uh, reading in the, our textbook, Chapter 6. Some YouTubes regarding um, marker rendering. So I think you'll find the YouTubes to be very helpful. And then we are reading Chapter 10 in our online text. And of course, um, the discussion board for you to post your the, um, the answer for one of the questions from Chapter 6 from our textbook. And then I am asking for some feedback from the YouTubes, which are found right here in this folder under the research category. Um, post three comments, just uh, what you, you know, maybe what you learn new or, uh, you know, what may seem to you to be really important information in regard to marker rendering. And then the Padlet for our online text, uh, you can just post that right in the Padlet. And then um, you are submitting your rough layout. So it's a black and white version. It can be done in black pencil um, of your marker rendering house or building. But we're doing the rough course in, in a pencil sketch. And then the assignment link for you to confirm that you have critiqued um, everyone's uh, rough layout in class. And then our last week, March 22nd. We're reading chapter seven. I will post PDF files. Um, I know there are a few people, they're still waiting. Uh, they're waiting for Amazon to deliver their textbook. So I'm just posting um, PDF files of the scanned textbook. And then the, the uh, um, discussion board for that reading from our textbook, chapter seven. And then, of course, all the wikis for you to upload your sketch exercises. And then lastly, uh, the wiki under the create um, category 
for you to upload your completed marker rendering of your house. So I will make a separate video for the project. If you have any questions about any of these assignments, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can email me, text me, uh, but just reach out and we can talk about the situation. Oh, very good. Thank you.